Hey guys, today we're going to go over three products that are banned by the CPA, the Canadian Physique Alliance. So if you compete, this is an episode you don't want to miss. three items, three products that are banned by the Canadian Physique Alliance. You cannot step on stage with these products. They're banned. Um, they'll get you disqualified from the show. Certainly something you don't want to throw 20 weeks of contest prep away for. So let's take a look at the products and I'll give you a little history behind them. And then in the end, I'll tell you alternatives that you guys can use um, as a workaround. So the first product that you're going to, that you're going to get banned is Dream Tan. So Dream Tan is a very quick product, uh, tanning product, that essentially just, just rubs right on. Um, I love the product. It's got a nice little sheen to it. The problem is, like, take a look at this stuff here. It's almost like, it's almost like paste when it goes on. And it just rubs on like that. Like, very, very smooth product. And when you're all done with it, it looks phenomenal. The problem with Dream Tan is it gets all over everything and it doesn't come out. Uh, promoters hate it. Competitors love it because it does give you a great sheen quickly. You only need a base coat uh, of like Protan or Jantana, um, Liquid Sun Rays, and then you just go very lightly with the Dream Tan on top of it. The problem is competitors will use an entire bottle with no base and they're just like a big mud, mud pie. So everything they touch in the auditorium gets this stain on it, and it's literally, literally very difficult to get out. So you can imagine rubbing it up against the stage um, curtains. There's, there's just no way they can take those down, so it costs a lot of money for the promoters to get the curtains cleaned. Um, so you guys want to stay away from this. Get this in the hotel, you're screwed too, because that gets all over the bed sheets um, if you're not bringing spares with you. So um, great product. It looks phenomenal when it's on, when applied correctly. However, it is banned. Um, I've seen shows last year and this year where competitors have used it. They're immediately disqualified from the class. Um, the competitor's gone from the show. The, um, the family and the friends that have bought tickets do not get their money refunded. It's just not a product you want to, um, to, uh, to, to try out at a show because you're gonna get caught. It's a, it's a quick spot from the judges table. They can easily see it. Um, and then all I gotta do is just kind of go up to you and touch it and they'll just see how easily it rubs off. So stay away from Dream Tan. So the next product that is banned by the Canadian Physique Alliance is Pam Cooking Spray. Now you, you may laugh, but actually guys use this as a glaze. So back in the early 90s, that's when, that's when this product was very popular. Um, unlike today when um, where everyone today is a contest prep coach. They do one show, they're a coach, and they've got some clients underneath them. Back in the early 90s, there might have been like two or three top coaches. And it wasn't unheard of for one coach to be backstage with 20, with 20 competitors. So the easiest way, oh, and I should mention too, back in the early 90s, uh, late 80s, uh, there were no tanning companies. So basically the coaches did it all themselves for the for their clients or the clients did it themselves. Um, in their hotel rooms. So it was next to impossible to oil up 20 guys before a show. Um, you just couldn't do it efficiently and, and so that it appeared well. So what coaches, some you know, bright coaches did, they used Pam. So Pam just, just sprays right on like that and then they blot it off with a, with a, um, with a towel. And it leaves a great little sheen on your body like it's very, very good. The problem with Pam is the overspray. You get a couple of guys or just one guy in the area and you're spraying them down, the overspray causes, literally causes a puddle around them and it's nothing but a slip and fall hazard. I've seen guys topple, you know, right on their ass because they're walking on, on a floor that's covered with Pam. And, you know, and it doesn't help it too, uh, the situation is even made even worse 
um, the promoters typically like to put down um, tarp on the floor. So you put Pam on top of tarp, it is a skating rink in the pump up area. So essentially Pam's been disqualified. You cannot use that in, in the pump up room. Don't do it, it's not worth it. Um, I'll give you guys a little tip later on what you do. Um, that's a certainly a better product than Pam. The final product that is banned by the CPA is Hot Stuff. So Hot Stuff, I personally really like the product. I got to use it for one show and found the results were phenomenal. But, um, actually I should probably tell you what it does first. So guys would spray this on and almost as a, as a, a little add-on or sometimes guys wouldn't even use an oil. They would just spray it on. And what happens is it brings out your veins. So it's a vasodilator. So basically it heats up your skin and it just pops the veins. So it gives you a, a freakier look than what you already have. And it kind of, for the, uh, the uneducated or the less skilled judge or audience member, they're gonna see a guy with lots of veins and think, oh my gosh, this guy is ripped. That's not always the case, but it does help. And it gives you appearance of more vascularity equals leaner. So, guys would use the hot stuff, spray that on, heat them up, get the veins popping, and then they would go out on stage. Uh, the problem, like I said, with hot stuff is it has uh, causes an allergic reaction to some people. So they breathe it in, and they have to take their, um, their EpiPen um, because their, their throat starts to um, tighten, and they can't breathe. Um, I personally know someone like that, so it's not a product that you want to have around. Uh, hot stuff, too, it has a very distinct smell to it. So as soon as you crack the lid on this thing and you spray, it's smelt through the entire auditorium. There is no getting around uh, a competitor who's uh, trying to hide the hot stuff. Like you just cannot, like your nose will, will pinpoint exactly who has it on. And I seen this happen last year, two guys, same show, banned. There's not, they don't even, you don't even get a chance to wipe it off, uh, clean yourself up. You're, you're immediately banned from the show. Um, and basically all that hard work you did was wasted because you just didn't know um, the, uh, the CPA rules. You probably didn't go to the um, competitors meeting the night before for any of these products because they, they're very clear on what products you, you're not allowed to use and they, they tell the competitors the night before um, uh, the, the show. So don't use hot stuff. Don't so now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I got three great products. Like they, they are really good products. Um, and they have their purpose, but they, they can't be used. So you may be thinking, well, what, what am I supposed to use? You've just told us three great secrets of the pros in, from the past, but um, what can I use? It's very simple. Um, Pam, the solution is Pam, to be quite honest. Um, Pam runs Absolute Touch. So Absolute Touch is the uh, official CPA tanner. Um, she provides uh, a phenomenal service to the athletes. So basically her tanning services are going to take care of dream tan. You're not going to have to apply this stuff. They do it with their spray tans and they glaze their athletes. So everyone that gets tan with Pam, um, at the shows with absolute touch, gets a glazing. So there's no need for it to have Pam because they do it all for you. They've got a, a huge staff that takes care of everything very professional. They've been doing this a long time. In fact, they were one of the first teams in Canada to actually do spray tanning. So they have it all down to a science. They know how to get you in uh, tip top form uh, before you go on stage. So they're going to get your tan perfect. No need for dream tan. They're going to get your oiling perfect. No need for Pam. Um, hot stuff. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to help you out with hot stuff. Hot stuff, the solution to hot stuff and to get your veins going and popping um, really comes from uh, the prep work you do prior to the show. So are you in shape enough to bring out the veins in the vascularity? Um, you have to be lean to get the veins popping. So, you know, commit yourself to, a, to the diet. Uh, get yourself down to a, a, a very good, a very low body fat range. The veins will pop. Now, the worst thing for veins on stage is a cold venue. So what you guys want, what you guys need to do is stay warm. So you can do that by staying close to the lights. 
Um, I've even seen guys bring hair dryers to, so that they can sit there and they can blow the hot air onto their bodies before they go on stage. Um, or even just to stay, um, you know, with, a, with some kind of house coat or baggy, baggy clothing. Um, that does tend to mess up your, your sheen and your tan. So you guys want to kind of stay warm, keep moving, do a slight pump, stay close to hot lights. And um, if you can find a, a warmer area, that's certainly where you want to be and the veins will stay. You know, they will come out when you're under the hot lights for sure, but you don't, sometimes you don't have the time to, to warm up under the lights. You need to be warm before you get out there for the veins to be popping. So make sure you guys are in great shape. Stay warm at the event, because we all know, I'm just kind of thinking this out of the top of my head, when you jump out of a tanner or a tanning bed, you just remember how veiny and vascular it's because you're hot, right? So you guys need to stay, you know, really warm at your show to keep the veins popping. Um, so then if you do that, you certainly won't need any hot stuff. So don't forget guys, absolute touch. You have Pam show, book an appointment, professional service. They're going to do, they do the job right every time. You won't regret it. Um, and then stick to your, uh, stick to your coach's plans. Stay on your diet, don't cheat unless he tells you to, um, and you're gonna be ready to rock the day of the show, and there won't be any need for these little, uh, these little tricks. But uh, hopefully you guys have learned something, um, and uh, we'll hit you up with more videos later on. Don't forget guys, Michelle and I are always looking for clients. We've got a pretty full roster for the 2019 uh, CPA season, but there's always room, because um, we love working with clients. Um, we want to bring out the best in you. We want to bring you to the show uh, the best shape possible. Uh, a huge component of our clients are natural, but we work with all types of clients, ranging from um, uh, CPA athletes, general weight loss, models, um, Miss Canada con con uh, contestants. Uh, we do it all, uh, photo shoot clients. So give us a shout. We'd love to work with you. Reasonable rates. We're going to be on you. We actually care about our clients. Um, so give us a shout. We'll take care of you. ElitePhysique.ca. Thanks, guys, and uh, keep hitting the gym hard, and we'll see you on your next uh, competition stage.